Hey guys, it's Crepit Studios, and I'm back with another pop vinyl figure, and I'm gonna do a review on it. Today we're looking at Ringo Starr from the Beatles, and before I start today's review, I want to say happy birthday to 2NEI1XSNSD1243. That's just off the top of my head, I don't know if it's right or not, but I know it's that person's birthday today, and she's like, I actually don't know how old she is, but happy birthday! Yay! Thumbs up! <clears throat> also, you might see in the background, right right over, yeah, right there, um, I rearranged my room, and I put my pop figures over there by the window, and I didn't think um, that you'd be able to see them in my videos, but you can, and I think it gives a, li a, like a little cool effect. You can, like, see the ones that I have. You can, like, know, you can, like, leave a comment below saying which ones you want me to do out of the ones that you can see right there. Because I have more over to the side, but... Like, see, that's that. That's all of them. Okay, it's it's not many, but it's more than most people have. <clears throat> anyway, so back to Ringo. We have Ringo Starr from the Beatles. If you don't know who the Beatles are, all two of you out there, they were a British band back in the '60s. They were very popular, and actually, I highly doubt anybody doesn't know who the Beatles are, except for the kids nowadays who don't listen to good music and listen to, you know, bad. Music. <coughs> Justin Bieber. <coughs> oh, I think I'm coming down with something. Anyway, um, we have Ringo here, and we got the box. I got him at Harrison's comic book store for um, ten nine ninety five dollars. It was around that. Um, uh, let's look at the box first. Um, on the side we got a picture of Ringo. We've got him, his mop top, his goatee, all that. It says Ringo choking hazard for some reason. Mama, I'm gonna stick the pop figure down my mouth. Oh no, no. Nobody could choke on that Funko. Really? Anyway, <clears throat> I can understand that the company that makes this, their name is Funko, um, could be afraid that some kids could choke on it because um they don't want to get sued. I don't think they have much money. So, um just put that on there for no reason. Number 30 in the set, I have every single other Beatles and the Blue Meanie, as I've shown you before, in this set. So I am pretty much... That's the only set besides the ad icons that I've actually completed. And I'm pretty proud. Pop Rock, the Beatles, Yellow Submarine. If you haven't seen Yellow Submarine, it's one of the best movies I think has ever made. And and it's just, it's just really good. Anyway, Pop Rock on the side, Beatles, Ringo Starr... Um, his real name wasn't Ringo, I, I don't remember what it was. It started with an R, um, but, um, his name is Ringo because he wears so many rings for some reason. <clears throat> On the back, we have everyone in the set, Pop Rocks, you know, the Beatles, Yellow Submarine, him on the side, number 30 in the set. All of them collect the entire line of, um, Yellow Submarine, Funko Pop, Super Stylized Vinyl Figures, blah, 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 blah. I think they could come out with some more of these, like, Captain Fred. Or, you know, some more blue meanies, because there's a variety of blue meanies. They could make it really cool. They're, Funko's pretty smart. They're a pretty smart company. <clears throat> anyway, Ringo Starr on the side. It's on the top. Got him at Harrison's. And that's it. Um, I heard that they're, um, at Harrison's they're selling Walking Dead Daryl and, uh, the other guy. Uh, the guy with the, what's his name? The Sheriff? What's... I, I don't know, but blood splattered variants, and they're only t they're twelve dollars, so that's two dollars more than they normally are. But it's worth it if you're gonna go, um, and you can't find it anywhere else. <clears throat> I'm saving up my money to get one, but I I don't know. Blood blood and gore isn't really my thing. So we have the pop figure here, and um, you might be wondering why he's dressed funny. Well, in the movie. Um, he's, he's dressed in a little, yeah, isn't that cool? It's, it's from my Beatles collection. Um, he's in his little get-up. That's how he looks in the movie. It's a very artsy movie, so they're wearing pretty abstract clothes. And so, this is just a tiny version. And so he's wearing the same clothes as he is in the movie. He's got his little tie with, like, a bird on it or something. Uh, he's got his really cool vest. You know, look at those rings. Mmm, look at them rings. He's got... His goatee, he's got his mop top, 
He's got uh, those stripes down his pants. And this was about the time when the Beatles were, um, like, one or two years before they broke up. So, um, they, so they're, they didn't make them look super young in the movie. Um, what I like about this pic, um, what about this figure is that in the movie, Ringo's eyes are rather, like, you, you probably can't see it from here, but his eyes are like, um, here's the eye, and there's just a line for some reason, I don't know if those are supposed to be eyelashes, but it's not on anyone else from the movie, and so it kind of makes him look like, um, well, I don't want to say it, but he, uh, let's just say he kind of looks like, um, that thing on the back of the dollar bill, you know, the giant eye, and there's just, like, two lines on it, he kind of looks like that. So anyway, we got the whole thing, only articulation is the head, um, got his feet, code number, <clears throat> he's probably the, th um, I'm not saying he's the best out of the set, but he's rather good. If you're a Beatles collector, then I think you should really go get these. And, um, these other little, um, these little Beatle toys that I got, um, for Christmas. They were actually ornaments, but I cut off their tops. Um, I don't know. I got those for my parents, so I don't know where they were from. But I know that I got this at Harrison's for ten nine ninety five ten dollars some price like that and it's a pretty it's a pretty good deal so um i give it a maybe a six out of ten on the Gruppet studio scale and it's pretty good so um i that pretty much wraps it up i'll see you next time with more reviewing yay